Hey guys, uh, today we're going to go over a quick TRX workout, uh, a little introduction to what the TRX is as well as um, a quick kind of workout you can do either anywhere if you have TRX at home or if you're bringing TRX on vacation. Um, so TRX is a suspension trainer just using your body weight. Uh, it's anchored, you can anchor it to any point if you buy the, um, if you buy the, the TRX model. It comes with a door anchor or you can just uh, hook it onto any beam. Uh, but again, the idea behind it is it's a body weight resistance. So the straps can be adjusted. Uh, it's important to note that the closer your feet go to the point of anchor, obviously you're holding more of your body weight up. So the harder it's gonna be. So for all these exercises that I show you, just take note that the, the closer you move your feet, that's how you're gonna make it harder. Or if it's too hard, you can just stand up taller to adjust your, how much body weight you're pulling or pushing. Uh, so our recommendation on this circuit, it's about six to eight exercises. Uh, you can do anywhere, generally we say like 12 to 15 reps, go through in a circuit fashion. So 12 to 15 reps of each exercise, rest one to two minutes, and then go through that uh, four or five times. So here are a couple uh, exercises. This is a full body workout, so we'll go through every muscle group. So you can start off to get warmed up just with a basic TRX squat. So holding onto the handles, not relying purely on the handles to stand up, mostly on the legs. If you want to make that more challenging, you can still hold on to the TRX, balance on one leg and go to a one-legged squat. So I'm just kind of tapping the knee behind me and then using that single leg to push up. Moving on, we can go into the upper body with a TRX row. So hold it tight into your ribs, and then arms come straight, and I row myself in. Again, as a reminder, the closer my feet are to the wall here, the harder it's gonna be. To get a push-up variation, we can turn right around, and arms come out straight, down to my push-up, and then I press. Same idea, the closer my feet are to the wall, the harder it's gonna be. For shoulders, there's a couple things we can do. Uh, we can go to a TRX post fly, so same setup as the row, but you're going to pull the straps apart and then lower down. It's important here to keep tension on the straps the entire time so they never come loose. Keep tension. We can switch from a post fly to a face pull. So come up here, pull into the face, elbows high. And we can, another variation we can do is a TRX Y. So you're coming up similar to the post fly, just a little bit higher of an angle to make that Y with the hands. Again, pinching those shoulder blades together. For the triceps, we can flip around, uh, hands go overhead, and then I'm gonna hinge at the elbows and press. So hinge at the elbows and press. And then for the biceps, opposite motion here, palms are up, elbows high. Try to get your elbows to point to the wall in front of you. So pull in, elbows are pointing towards the wall ahead of you. Just like that. And then the last variation is if you can uh, pull it so you're just holding on to one strap and then you're going to start, this is called a pal off press, so you start with the uh, handle right in your belly button and you kind of get a little bit of a lean going. So again, the further I lean in, the harder it's going to be and all I want to do is simply press it out and pull it in. And this is going to be what we call anti-rotation, so it's going to fight rotation and engage the core. So that's a quick workout as a reminder. Uh, six to eight exercises, 12 to 15 reps of each, rest after you go through it once, and depending upon your level, you can go through it four or five times.